Welcome to Rolling Ratchet, where we discuss all things culture. I'm your host, Nizzy Nice. Please consider smashing that subscribe button. And if you're rocking with this video, make sure you hit that like button. Now, I ain't going to hold y'all up without any further delay. Enjoy the video. This video is going to be very interesting. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about this story, but I want to hit it from a few different angles that I don't hear other people discussing. So for now, I'm not going to talk about Jada for now. And I'm not going to talk about Will for now. I'm going to start with Jaden Smith. Because way back in 2013, Jaden filed for emancipation from his parents. Now, if you don't know what that means, once a child files for emancipation, he is basically asking a judge to remove all power and control from his parents. Which means even though a child was under the age of 18, they don't need permission or signature from their parents to do anything. They are all on their own. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of a black kid coming from a household with two multimillionaires asking a judge to remove control and guidance from his parents? I'll wait. Pretty much unheard of, right? Now, I bring this up because to me, that was the first red flag that something might be a little off with the Smith family. Now, one might say, well, what the hell was going on in that household that he did not want to be under their guidance or control? We don't know. We can only speculate and assume. However, let's listen to Jada talk about August Alsina. As promised, Jada Pinkett Smith brought herself to the red table, and surprisingly, her husband Will Smith joined her. They talked about pain, healing, and yes, Jada's entanglement with August Alsina. It's all love. Recently, Alcina revealed to the world that he was involved in a relationship with Jada while she was still married. And even though statements were released denying the affair, Pinkett Smith is now reluctantly confirming that the relationship did indeed exist. It's a situation that I consider private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody's, nobody's business. business yeah. But, yeah. but now Black Twitter has <laughs> claimed it as their business. During the 12-minute Red Table Talk episode, Jada sat down with Will to explain how she met August four and a half years ago. But the friendship didn't turn into something more until she and Will were ready to call it quits. You and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided... I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically... We broke up. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement with August. Yes, we know entanglement is vague as hell. But thankfully, Will pressed her to be more clear. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship? Yes, it was a relationship, absolutely. We also got clarity on the misconception that Will gave August permission to sleep with his wife. The only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but what... August was probably trying to communicate mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated amicably yeah. and I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker. Now, if you're like us, you're probably wondering why August? Well, we'll let Jada explain it. I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long since I felt good. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Eventually, August broke things off and they haven't really talked since. And the Smiths claim they are now stronger than ever. We ride together. We die together. together. Bad marriage. For ever wondering how Jada and August I've seen them met? Let me tell you how. Jada met August through Jaden. Yes, she met August through her son because Jaden Smith and August Alcina were friends first. So, fellas, let me ask you this question. Imagine you introduce one of your homies to your moms and then you find out your homie is smashing your moms. How would you feel? Me personally, I would feel violated from all parties involved. My homie, he definitely ain't my homie no more because he didn't cross the line. So he cut off. So that's done. And my moms. You can't stop your mother from being your mother because she gave birth to you. But I would have definitely felt some type of way. And I'm pretty sure Jaden was like, Mom, 
all the dudes in California and you had to smash my homie? I'm pretty sure that put some type of wedge between him and his moms. Now, for the past 10 years, I've always heard that Will and Jada has had an open marriage. I also heard that Will Smith was messing with somebody. I'm not going to say the name because I don't know if it's a fact and I don't want to gossip on my platform so you can do your own research. But trust me when I tell you, when you hear the name, you're going to be shocked. And I'm going to leave that right there. But the point I'm making is you've never heard about Will Smith messing with anybody else, correct? Yet you hear about Jada in August. Now, my point is one needs attention and one doesn't. That's pretty much the difference between Will Smith and Jada. One needs attention and one doesn't. And ladies, no disrespect when I say this, but fellas, most women constantly need attention. And I'm not talking about just attention from their significant other. They need attention from other people. It's not just a theory. I can prove my point. Fellas, think about how many times you've seen a girl out in public with a short dress on and she keep pulling her dress down because when she walking, the dress keep rising. Now, she looked in the mirror before she left the house. She knew that dress was short. She knew that dress was going to keep rising every time she walked and she's going to have to pull it down all day. Yet she still wore that dress outside. Why? One word answer. Attention. Some women constantly need attention And I think that's how Jada is Right now Jada has a book coming out called Worthy Right? I'm sorry the book is already out It's called Worthy Now when most people are coming out with a book They want to promote it They want to market it Some people might even pull some type of publicity stunt Just to sell a book But most people who do that They need the money Jada's already up 50 million And Will is up 350 million I don't think Jada need money I think she needs attention and this is why she does the things and says the things she says to constantly bring attention to herself. And I was thinking about this when I was making a video, right? Will Smith, blockbuster, superstar actor, right? Then you look at Jada and her acting career. I think her last big movie to me was set it off. Is it possible that sometimes Jada feels a little jealousy and a little overlooked by Will? So she does these things for attention so people can look at her? That's food for thought, right? Now, let's listen to Jada talk about Tupac. He proposed to you while he was in jail. I talk about this in the book when I go to see him in Rikers, when I wrote about that in the book and when I had to um, talk about it, uh, speak my words for the audible version of the book. That was probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. <laughs> And um, he was in, he was, he was in, he was, he was, he was in bad shape. And so when he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. And I knew at that time that A, he needed somebody to do time with him, mm. which I was going to do anyway. He didn't have to marry me to do time with him, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I see why we love you. <laughs> And then to, um, like, he needed a rock. That's crazy. You know why it's crazy? Because Will Smith is out here making blockbuster movies, killing aliens and saving the world, and that's still not enough for Jada. She's still out here talking about Tupac. And I'm going to say her story is cap because Pac was already married when he went to Rikers Island. But hey, I want to thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm your host, Nizzy Nice, and we rolling ratchet.